Hi guys. <laughs> hi everyone. Hi guys. Hi everyone. Why can't I speak? I was literally about to pick up my phone, but I'm recording on my phone. So anyway. Hi. I look a bit weird today and I feel like I'm really hyper for some reason. Hi and welcome back to my channel. I literally can barely see my phone because this ring light is so bright. So if I'm looking weird, wave. You know why. So for today's video, you can probably already tell by the title, I'm doing a tan review. First tan review. I haven't seen anyone really talk about this. I've seen someone on Instagram, I can't remember her name, but I've seen someone on Instagram talking about this tan. And I saw this tan and I was like, I am so trying that for a video because if this tan works, like it's a game changer for all of us. So, the tan I'm reviewing today is the Marbella, Marbella, I don't know how to say that, Marbella, I think, Glow Tan, it's Lidl's tan basically, I got it in Lidl's, it's 4 euro, it comes in medium dark and ultra dark I think, or extra dark, I got the dark colour, it says it's vegan self tan and it's a mousse, and I'm so excited about this because it's literally 4 euro, and if this tan works, for 4 euro? Where would you be going? Like, I have tried so many tans. I've tried Dripping Gold. I've tried Iconic Bronze. I've tried Be Bold. I've tried... What else? Ben Mianta. I've tried... I think that's kind of all I've... I think that's all I've tried, yeah. My favourite tan is definitely the Be Bold Smart Mousse. The, the one in the white bottle, 321. I love that tan. Such a nice tan gives you such a cool colour and like you can put it on for it's like one hour two hours three hours so like you leave it on as long as you want to get it as dark as you want but i usually leave it on night but anyway that's my favorite tan but if this like does the same job then i'm sorted it's for you like i couldn't pass up this opportunity what am i saying marbella glow luxury bronzing mousse is a lightweight easy to apply self tan for a long lasting sun kissed glow a vegan friendly infusion with white truffle and champagne extracts oh my god i didn't read that combined with a vitamin e for excellent skin conditioning and antioxidant pro properties sounds very fancy for littles like i'm not underestimating littles i love littles directions for use okay i'm actually gonna say what i would usually do while I, when I'm like preparing to put tan on. As you can tell right now, I'm really pale. I have no tan on. I put tan on like this day last week, I'm pretty sure. Or the day before last week, whatever. It was on a week. And I, to prayer, prepep from, prepep? Prepep. <laughs> to prep my skin for tan, if I have tan left over, I will use this gross looking mitt please ignore that it's like broken at the bottom it's really tight that's the only bad thing about this mitt it's really tight and barely fits around my wrist like it's so tight that's why it's broken i use the bondi sands what is it called reusable exfoliating mitt dual action it has two sides the black side preps the skin by removing any dead skin cells and fake tan residue and the blue side of the mitt removes any unwanted tanning errors i personally think the blue side works better I don't know how that works but the blue side works better for me and it literally scrubs off like I I don't I use water and this and it takes off like all the tan that I have left over okay I have little patches here and there because I didn't really scrub it that much that well this time but this works like so well to get tan off so I would exfoliate with that to like scrub any tan off and I always I moisturize every day after I shower to like prep for tan because moisturising your skin is so important when it comes to tan because it'll just go all, you know, scaly and like, you know, when you look like tiger bread, it'll go like that if you don't moisturise. People say, and it tells you on the back of tanning things to shave your legs and stuff two days before and not moisturise on the day. I only moisturised my elbows, my knees, my feet, my hands today because I was tanning. They do say to shave two days before I would sometimes do that but sometimes you know when you get the little dots on your legs I still get them after even if I shave two days before I still can get those little dots and it annoys the heck out of me the heck 
annoys the shit out of me. I still get them and it's really irritating. I saw a girl talking about this and she what she does is puts her tan on with hairy legs basically and shaves the day after and when she shaves there's no like little dots you know when like the tan gets into your pores and your legs it looks awful um she shaves the day after and I was like does that not like get rid of your tan but it actually doesn't because I've, tr I've tried it before and it did once but I think it was just the tan I used or it was like I hadn't put enough tan on or I used something weird that day because I have done that since and like the tan has stayed on my legs. It might come off a little bit like if you want, to, if you're wearing like a skirt or a dress or something that shows your legs then don't do it if you don't want to but it gets rid of like the hair, gets rid of any dots like you literally have smooth legs. Yeah, come the tan will come off a little bit because it's going to because you're shaving. But it shouldn't come off. Like it shouldn't like strip your leg from the tan. That's just what I do. I would sometimes shave before. But I'd prefer. I kind of like shaving after now. Because it just works for me. Okay so I'm going to stop talking. And then we're going to put the tan on. I'm just going to show you like putting it on my arm or something. Because I'm lazy when, I come, when it comes to tan. And I can't be arsed like filming my whole chest area. So... I'm going to read you the directions first. So, prior to tanning, ensure skin is clean and exfoliated. Only moisturise dry areas such as hands, feet, knees, ankles and elbows prior to applications. Applications? Application. <laughs> Pump fo foam directly onto your tanning mitt and massage into skin with large circular movements. Leave hands and feet until last, sweeping lightly over. Wash hands after use. Wash hands after use? I usually actually, as well... My hands don't go really, like, I don't, no one likes dark hands with tan. If you wash your hands, maybe, like, half an hour to an hour after, well, put the tan on your hands first. Moisturise with the, like, with the tan on. I'll actually show you what I do. And then wash your hands half an hour or an hour after you've put it on your hands. And it, they should, they should be the same colour as, like, your arm. And it says, leave on skin for four to eight hours before showering off with warm water gently pat skin dry i'm gonna leave it on overnight because i always do that and i think i'm gonna put two layers on because the girl i said again i can't remember her name the girl i saw using it she had the extra dark and she used two layers and it looked not light but it looked like a little bit lighter than it would normally be extra dark so i might put two layers on the dark what i used before actually putting the tan on i use the be bold body beautiful moisturizing lotion it's prep and maintain thing and you i just put it like it's basically a second moisturizer so i just put it on my like elbows so the tan doesn't really stick to my hands and all then my wrists and then my knees and my feet and we're sorted and ready to tan and i'm using the be bold just a be bold mitt. Well, be bold sponsor me. Oh my god. It actually has a really nice colour. Like, oh god, it looks weird on that. But actually has a really nice colour. I wasn't expecting it to be like that colour. Oh my god, it smells like shampoo. Stop. Oh my god, it smells really nice. It doesn't have a tan smell. Like, it doesn't smell like tan at all. I kind of go up my hand like this first and I don't touch the, what you call it, fingers yet, just yet, because we do that last. A nice golden, it's actually not showing up that well on the camera, but it's really like actually really nicely applied and like evenly applied and golden in real life because this light washes me out. <laughs> Non-tanned arm, tanned arm first application you can see the color difference kind of but it's not like that's why i might put two layers on because it is a nice color though so that's like it first applied i've been talking for 14 minutes so i'm actually gonna go put the rest of the tan on all over i'll come back show you how i do my hands and then we'll see peace out okay i'm back and i'm tanned it looks a lot darker in person. 
yeah it is a lot darker in person trust me i've put two layers on it's a really nice color you can kind of see better there like that's kind of more the color it's a really nice color like it reminds me of the dripping gold if you have if anyone has used that reminds me of that has like a reddish like all of you understand it's not green at all it's really nice really nice guy color really nice like first application oh you can see the color so much better back here it's a really nice color Ooh. and nair tan smell inside i will say it's very wet and sticky for a mousse but a tip to do to do if you you know like in the places you crease like your arm behind your knees like under your arms like armpits anywhere like that if you have a tan it's like really sticky and it's annoyingly sticky like this one's kind of annoyingly sticky just get any like setting loose powder like this one i don't use on my face or not and i literally use this for like tan uh fluffy brush this is my tanning fluffy brush and get the loose powder and put it like in those areas it should set this one now i can still feel a bit sticky in places but that really helps like to like dial down the stickiness really nice color first off i really like the color it applied really really easily really seamlessly it didn't like i didn't have to like really rub it in like even on my legs and all it was really easy going in but maybe that's why it's liquidy so it's like has an easy application but now i'm going to show you how to do my hands so i literally don't take any like new tan like that's a big mistake i made when i first started putting tan on i would pump more on the mitt and you really don't need to with your hands so i basically just get the mitt that already has tan on it and i go like proper like bend your fingers like that and go proper in the like little lines and all and in between them and everything my hand is tanned i'm gonna do the other one and then show you what i do with the moisturizer so i have my hands are tanned now as you can tell you still can't really see that color unless i go out there <laughs> it's fine so take a like hand moisturizer i just use this nivea one any any hand moisturizer take a little bit on the back of your hand oh that was a bit too much but take a bit on your hand both hands and like kind of like rub it in with the back of your hands and like get into the little like lines on your hands like and on your knuckles and all rub it in like this and make sure it's like proper rubbed in it's actually kind of rubbing off hmm that's actually rubbed off my hand on this hand strange but maybe it's because it's a wet but like that's what i would do to get a nice like proper rub moisture hand like a hand cream or even a moisturizer into like the knuckles and stuff so like even make sure your hands are like this and you're like getting it evenly because there's nothing worse than like going like this and all there is white so i will wash my hands now in like half an hour to an hour and it usually looks really nice tanned um it doesn't look too dark and it should be nice so i'm gonna sleep in this tan i'm gonna show you this is like a week review you should know that already but this is a week review and it's like we're gonna see how it wears off and everything like that so yeah that's like first application first impressions really like how it applied has a really nice undertone doesn't smell like tan which is great reminds me of dripping gold and i mean this is four euro if this is like dripping gold in any way I mean, I love dripping gold and I, w I don't mind paying the price that it is. But if this is for your own, it's kind of similar. If you like are on a budget, I'm going to come back in the morning and show you what it looks like. Oh my God. Hi. My top is like weird. My hands look a bit weird, I can't lie. They don't look too bad though. They're not darker. But I'm literally awake like <laughs> half an hour. Oh, looks 
so it's developed a lot like look the difference between my face and my eyes like if and sit at the window so you can see it properly oh wow such a morning person it's actually washing me out this natural light so I'm gonna stop but it's a really nice color it's very dark for dark but I did put two layers on the top then my legs are like the same you can't really see I like this color and it's like even as well it's not like patchy I thought it was patchy when I first looked at it a little bit in there maybe but I wouldn't worry about that until you rinse it off in the shower because it can be patchy and then it goes smooth I like it so far but the color is really nice and really dark hands they're a bit weird looking on the camera but they don't actually look like that in person and they're like seamlessly going in fine around here no like weird shit going on there it's a lot darker here in person but yeah i actually like it so far and it's developed to a nice color hopefully the color is much in the shower and I hope I can shave I have a feeling this is going to be one of those times where I have to shave two days before because I have to do that with dripping gold so yeah I'll come back after I wash it off as well and let you know what it's like I need some peace signing Okay, I've just washed it off. I said I would just try my dressing gown on so I can show you. It's really not coming up how dark it is on camera. I don't think, well, it kind of is when I was watching it back, but my hands now look really nice. Like, they're proper seamless. I will say my elbows are quite dark, but I would just like, next time I'm doing it, I wouldn't go as much on my elbows. But other than that, it's a really nice color. It barely came off in the shower. Like, you could see it rinsing off but like the colour is still there so and this is like dark and it literally is so dark like you know the way sometimes you can get a dark tan and it washes off and it's not there anymore but this one is like still there it's definitely like a dark really dark tan I'm quite not surprised I'm actually just like like it really does remind me of the dripping gold tan I've tried like it reminds me of it so much and it's even better than the dripping gold because like dripping gold for me personally came off in areas like my hands really easily even after the first shower and like my feet and all and i was just like what like this is like 25 euro like i loved dripping gold but it just came off quite easily and i was kind of a bit disappointed in it but this one like barely came off my hands and like even when I've been washing my hands and stuff, like it's still such a fab color, it's still on really nice. And well, my legs, it shaved, like it stayed on after I shaved as well. Like, it obviously does come off a little bit, like every tan will come off if you shave over, but like it's still seamless down, like to to my foot. Like it's you can't see, like I have less tan on my leg to my foot. It is a bit lighter on my legs, but it's gonna be because I shaved. But it's not light enough where it looks like I have no tan on. And I'm so happy about this. I am shook. Like, this is four euro. And, oh, and I forgot to mention. It doesn't smell at all like tan, even when I woke up this morning. It doesn't smell like tan at all. And it didn't transfer onto my bed sheets. I'm actually coming on just because I looked at my sheets and there is a little bit of transfer. But it's not like really a lot at all that's why i couldn't see it but yeah it did transfer a tiny bit but you don't mind that because like i thought it would because it's sticky but it's not like anything bad so yeah for euro i will literally be buying this like depending on the wear off now i don't really really mind wear off on tans i don't like tans that take ages to scrub off because that's just irritating and I've had a few tans like that. But yeah, I don't really mind the wear off. I Hopefully it doesn't like get all scaly. Hopefully it comes off nice. It should though. If you moisturise every day 
before you put tan on after you shower and every day after it should run off nice anyway i know sometimes it won't do that but it should run off nice if you like keep on top of your moisturizing and stuff and it shouldn't go scaly but yeah so far first impressions first wash off i love it even on my hands like you can tell like that color is really nice it's a really nice goldeny like all like goldeny ready not red but it's like goldeny color so it's like it uh, looks like i've been in the sun i'm gonna be checking in like every few days so you will see me in the next clip and i'll tell you what it is and i'll see how it's getting on but so far i really really like this tan for four euro where would you be going like honestly so yeah i'll see you the next update i do I don't know why I look like this. <laughs> it's day three of the tan. It's still really nice on my neck, as you can tell. It's obviously fading, but it's not fading like loads or anything. This is like natural light. Still on my arms, really nice. It's fading off my legs, really nice. You know, patchiness on my legs. My hands are a little bit patchy, but my hands go patchy with every tan because I wash them so much. I scrubbed it off around my like elbows elbows <laughs> I scrubbed it off around my wrist and all because it was getting a little bit dark looking and it kind of there is a little crease there you can see but it kind of looks even and it kind of looks even and rubbed off it does like look that in person as well I'll show you the other hand like it doesn't look like I was rubbing it off it literally is so seamless still so yeah this is day three so i've had three showers and i really like it like this is it's like keep in mind this is a four euro tan like it's so good for four euro so good and even like i would expect to pay a bit more for this like be bold is like 15 ish euro i would pay 15 euro for this like it's just really nice so yeah, I'll keep you updated towards the end of the week when I'm scrubbing it off and stuff. Please ignore how I look right now. I just wanted to do a tan update. Actually, I'm going to sit in front of my ring light so you just can see it better. I'm just going to... Oh, that's upside down. Turn on my ring light. Whoa. Um, it's Saturday. I don't know what day of the tan it is. I lost count, but I'll put it on the screen. You can see, you'll see it on my neck, as you can tell. It's a lot lighter, though. I scrubbed it off a bit, though, because it was getting a bit weird. Like, you know, the way tan can get weird, like, under your arms, like, in there and stuff. It's actually fine now, though, because I scrubbed it off. I used normal exfoliating gloves. I didn't use my Bondi Sands, like, one that removes all the tan because it's saturday i'm gonna scrub that i'm gonna use that tomorrow though because i'll put fresh layer on either tomorrow or monday depending on how it comes off but yeah it looks fine my hands obviously are like paler but it's coming off nicely it's not patchy it's a bit patchy in my legs but that's only where like where i'm where i was proper scrubbing it off on my legs because like i just thought it would like take a while to get off my legs but it's actually fine coming off it's fading nicely it's not patchy it was getting i think because i put two layers on the top like on, on my shoulders and stuff it was getting a bit weird under my arms so i wouldn't put two layers on the next time but so far i really like this time so yeah i'll come back to you tomorrow or the next day and give my full honest opinion and yeah so this is my last like update and i'm gonna like finish the video now for the tan it's been a week i've put on another layer of it and overall i really like the tan for four euro where would you be going like it's literally only four euro um i will say it's really hard to get off my legs and in certain areas I had like patches on my legs, you know, I wasn't bothered to scrub it off. So I put tan over them and you can notice the patches got worse with the tan. 
over it, but that's what any tan should be really for tan over patchy tan. But anyway, come it came off very well, it's not fine. Um just my legs, it was really hard to get off and I wasn't bothered scrubbing it. So I just put it on over it. So obviously don't do that. But that's kind of the only thing. Like it was really hard to get off my legs. Everywhere else was really nice coming off. And I really like it for four euro. Like you kind of, I kind of expected to come off like really bad, but yeah, for four euro, I really enjoy. I really like the tan. Would definitely recommend if you're like, even just getting into tan, or if you're like on a budget and you don't know what kind of tan you want. Definitely that one is a good starter tan, I would say. So yeah, that's basically the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already Um, let me know if there's any other tans or any other products you want me to review because i actually enjoyed reviewing it i do have another tan in mind that i want to review that looks good so yeah i hope you enjoyed and i shall see you in my next video bye make sure you want to get a thumbnail